Kathy. Well, Halloween is not just a time for kids, but for the entire family. And that includes, of course, our four-legged family member. So how can you keep things safe for dogs this Halloween? Animal behaviorist Wendy Ma joins us once again with tips. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming and bringing your own family members. Yes. And would you like to introduce them? This is Baxter. Okay. And this is Bonnie. So cute. Yeah. And they're behaving very well. But what about for Halloween? Uh, it's a fun time for kids, for parents, for teens. Is it a fun time for dogs as well? Um, you know, some enjoy it, but the ones that are shy or fearful, they don't really enjoy Halloween. There's a lot of scary things going on. The kids running around screaming, trick or treat, you know, and the costumes and everything. So for those that are um, a little shy or fearful, maybe they would probably not want to participate. Okay, and so what can dog owners do to help their dogs out for this one night? You know, they can know their dogs if they enjoy it they can be out um, the ones that are shy or fearful they may be better off stay in the back bedroom with the TV or radio on so that they can just be calm and peaceful mm -hmm. the really excitable ones, like Brody yeah. <laughs> um, the family shouldn't get too complacent about well they, they stay at home and they're fine mm -hmm. you know the door is open you're handing out candy to the kids maybe best to keep them on leash a lot of people don't realize it's okay to keep a dog on leash in the house um, because all it takes is the door opening and they just slip out when you're turning to get the candy and you don't know your dog is now roaming the neighborhood lost right okay and what if you want Baxter or Brody to join you when you're out trick-or-treating is that a good idea can you do that especially when there's costumes available for dogs these days? Um, again, you might want to know your neighborhood and the houses you're going to because you might knock on that door with your dog and there's another dog on the other side of the door. Um, but for the most part, if they're controlled and calm, can they go with you? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you who want to have something for the dogs to participate, I made some nice little homemade doggy treats. It's just some honey, peanut butter, oats, um, a little flour um, uh, egg to keep it together mm -hmm. and baked it for about 10 minutes. That's it. That's it. And it smells wonderful. I, I almost grabbed them myself. I thought it was okay. Uh, Wendy, thanks for bringing treats this morning. <laughs> but they're healthy as well. They're healthy as well. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is so not good for no. the dog. Mm -hmm. And it's the chocolate, You parents need to be aware of it beyond Halloween. Right. Um, you know, kids might take the leftovers, put it in their backpacks. And then the dogs burrow into their backpacks mm. and become very ill. Right. Um, and the chocolate can kill if they consume enough of it. Yeah, chocolate is very dangerous. I'm not sure if all pet owners know that. Even a small piece can be very harmful. So don't think that you can just share a Halloween treat or candy while you're out walking with your kids. Um, or if kids, don't give your pet one and sneak one in and think that it's okay because it's very dangerous. It is. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, and the other thing is if they are going to take their dogs on a Halloween adventure, you know, have that reflective um, tag on their collar or put some reflective tape on the leash mm -hmm. um, because look at Baxter's little Halloween thing well he is here for the little season. scarf <laughs> uh -huh. it's black mm. for the most part mm -hmm. this not, may not reflect so well and he's mostly black so it would be good that and he's low to the ground so it'd be good that people could see that there's something down there so he doesn't get tread on or trip somebody over Okay. Yeah. And they do have a lot of costumes out for dogs, so uh, what do the dogs think of the costumes? I always wondered, do they enjoy it? Is it okay to dress them up a little bit? How comfortable can, you know, they, they have to be? Because these things, they look kind of thick and heavy, but this right. one's very cute. I, and this I one's purposefully brought them in very light costumes. Mm -hmm. The big, bulky ones, um, I did get one for Brody. He wasn't very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell when they're not happy, right? And if you look, actually, if you look at the packaging, the pictures, they have the dogs that model. They don't look so thrilled yeah, in they them. Don't. Yeah. If it looks uncomfortable, it probably is. Yes. Any other tips you want to give to kids and parents about Halloween and how to keep their four-legged family members safe and happy? Well, you know, one thing is the kids, if you do see a lot of the dogs out there, don't run up to them mm. if they're not yours. You don't know if the dog is a little skittish because a lot of commotion is going on. Stand still and see if the dog wants to come to you. That's a better indicator that the dog is friendly and probably would accept the pet. But when you come running in with your costumes, and the kids forget they're all made up.
Right. That's scary to have a, uh, That's right. a little child come running into their face made up like the latest superhero. You know? There's so many distractions and new distractions for a four-legged family member. So just be aware if they're going to take them out or if, even if you keep them inside on Halloween. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Wendy Ma and Baxter and Brody for joining us this thank morning. Thank you for having us. All